Good morning guys, thank you very much for clicking back on the channel. Something slightly different today, <clears throat> I'm going to take you on one of my regular hikes that I do at least once a week, apart from the gym of course, is to keep fit for our camping adventures. Um, it's here in the Brecon Beacons, it's called the Pond Stickle Circular, I'll put all the pictures up for you on the route map and things. Um, it's a 7k trek which works out about four and a half miles. So keep watching and we'll uh, we get some f lovely footage along the way. So here's the start point here guys. So this is a pond stickle reservoir. Let me come around the other side. There you go, look. So this is the Pond Stick Reservoir. It's just below Penavan. Penavan is up there amongst the mist. So what we're going to do today, guys, is as I say, it's a 7K. So we're going to walk around. The reservoir. Now, we're to get, you want to give yourself two hours, okay? Yeah, give yourself two hours. Um, I'll do it in a lot less than that, but give yourself two hours. Let's get cracking. So the first thing you're going to see, guys, on this hike, is you're going to see um, the railway station here on my right. Just coming up to now. So that's your first point there. Now, as you can see, I've got a shower proof jacket on because there's lots of rain doing i've got boots on because <clears throat> that's what i wear when i'm out camping i am going to rucksack on so that's the first point you see coffee time there i've come that way there's a the reservoir on my left yeah so i've got um i've got a pair of boots on because that's what we wear when we go camping. And that's just to um, waterproof your feet and to support your ankles. So I'll just keep marching on now, okay? Back to you soon. Right, so I'm um, just coming up in front of me now, guys. On the left is a pond stickle yachting club, okay? So what you need to do here, you need to fork off right. Fork off. Yeah, you need to fork off right here, look. So I'm sticking to the path here, okay? Up the hill, it says on that sign there. Up the hill. So I'm at the top of that hill now. It's really a small hill. Down there is the yachting club. Here's the railway track. Brecker Mountain Railway. On my right. So you just follow the path along. Couldn't be easier. There you go, there's the yachting club there, look. See? We'll be going all the way around there. Fabulous. So onward we march. So when you get here guys, there's another fork, fork, <laughs> stick to the right. So as I was saying about the boots guys, right, you know, they keep your feet dry, um, <clears throat> they protect your ankles. So as you can see now we're off road, right, so this is why I think personally, you should wear boots on tracks like this because it's undulating. It'd be quite easy to flip an ankle like. But I've also, um, before I came out this morning, I got plenty of fluids down me and some electrolytes. 
so it's important as well to stay hydrated. I'm not trying to teach any of you to suck eggs, but um, this is something I think I don't see on the wild camping videos and things is your fit fitness regimes. If you actually do one at all, if you do, guys, or if you don't, or if you're thinking of starting up, put down in the comments down below, okay? This is um, this is great practice, guys. Seriously, just makes your camps more enjoyable. Out. Something else I did before leaving the house this morning. It's very, very important, guys. Is to powder your feet. Okay, powder your feet. Just regular talcum powder or antifungals up to you. And I also, <coughs> I should mention, I've got a pair of thin socks on first, then a pair of thicker socks. And what that does, it stops blisters, guys, right? Good little tip for you there. Plus, you can see this, uh, this pont, Ponstickle Circular is absolutely beautiful. Really, really enjoy it. Say, I train three days a week in the gym. That's only on the treadmill, guys. Or the treadmill, as G would say. And, uh, yeah, I do three runs a week on the treadmill. No weights for me no more. Got nothing to prove there. And I come out one day a week to do a, either a ruck with a park or a hike. Look at that guys, it's absolutely beautiful. Stunning. Out. So just stop for the press bit there now guys. But um, right, so we're coming to the end now of the one side, okay? I'll put a picture up soon from OS Maps. Oh, excuse me. OS Maps that I use, okay? Yeah, but um, We've cleared the one side almost. There's, there's a steep gradient there. It's a bad, it's a bummer. It is. Need to swallow then, guys. Um, yeah, so I'll put a picture up, but as I say, the, the apparatus they use, guys, you'll see it along the way on this video, is OS Maps, okay, and it's a free version. Gorgeous. So, as you can see, you can e quite easily flip your ankle. So take note of your footfalls, okay? Right, so we're at the top of the hill now. So there's no camping area in there. That's the way we go in. And it's Dollar Gear Climbing Centre up there, okay? Out. So keep walking along this path here, look. Stick to the road. Right, guys. So I'm going to put a shot up. For you now or at the point we're at okay so what we're doing here now we've got Ponstickle Reservoir there which is what we're walking on today and that reservoir there is Pen Twin or Dollar Gear Reservoir just gonna show you where Penavan is situated now guys so that's what we are walking around seven kilometers okay There's the pen twin. It's covered in uh, fog at the moment. So up there, it's Penavan, Criban, Kondu, and Fanny Peak. So we keep on going here. So there's your Pond Stickle Reservoir. There's your pen twin reservoir. So we've walked that side. Now we're on the return journey, as they call it. But this is the harder stretch. But you, what you have got is no more off-road. 
So just coming out of this junction here now, there's Talabont on us up that way. Some awesome camping spots up there. Ah, uh, something really interesting I found on the internet the other night, guys. I'll put a picture up for you, okay? Um, I was looking at the British Army fitness test requirements for 2024. Obviously, it's, uh, it's changed a lot since when I was in, back in the day. But, um, I look, I'll put the graph up for you, it's great. It's for men and women. Um, obviously I'm 54 years of age, so for me, as you see on the chart I put up, um, the requirements were to pass your BFT, uh, your battle fitness <coughs> test, was we start with press-ups for instance. So you had to do 25 press-ups in two minutes, it's easy really isn't it? Well, I shouldn't say that, sorry. I shouldn't say that. Um, Sit-ups was 32 in two minutes. And for you run, uh, which is a mile and a half, for someone 54 years of age, you had 13 and a half minutes. Um, yeah, it's, it's achievable. But I was thinking, is that due to the situation with the British at the moment, the British military, where they can't get enough people? Something to think about, isn't it? You know, have they lowered the standards? It was a lot harder back in the day, guys, I can tell you. But I obviously passed. But I was about... <laughs> I was a bright stone like that then, guys. <laughs> yeah, so have a look at that, guys. Have a look at that chart. You know, we could even use it as um, a goal for this year. Obviously not to go into the military, innit? Because uh, who's, who's going to want to defend this country now, innit? The state is in. But that's another topic. Have you got any, fe any feelings on that? Put down in the comments, guys. We'll have a good debate. Yes, yeah, so if you want to use that as your uh, goal for 2024, your fitness regime, it's brilliant. Check your age and then show you in what's required. Go for it guys, go for it. Out. There we go, so we've been, uh, we've been walking now 48 minutes. We're more than halfway guys. Um, myself personally, I feel like breaking off, you know, going into a, into a run, but I'm not going to. Just going to show you uh, an idea of the time. So, <coughs> This pond stickle reservoir, guys, it's in uh, where I live. It's called Merthyr Tidville. You're bound to have seen it on telly. Britain's roughest pubs, etc. Well, I used to be a doorman in those pubs. That's another story if you want to read about it. There's two books. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so this is in Merthyr Tidville, guys. So, I'm guessing a lot of the followers, subscribers, a local to me, not all of them of course, but a handful. So give us a bash guys, right? Give it a bash. Out. There you go guys, halfway to paradise. So, so this is the final, I wouldn't say hard, but this is the final push. So from here now we go uphill, uh, then we straighten off. Then it's across the dam wall, back to the starting point. Um, as you can see, it have not rained. Good old uh, British weather forecast, wrong again. But it's important to bring something like this with you, okay? You don't have to wear it. You can attach it to your waist, you know, anything like that. But come prepared. Uh, when I get back to the van, I'm going to show you exactly what I drink prior to exercise. Game changer. Out. Right, so. 
very well-known regiment training there, guys. Don't need me to uh, tell you who. Happy days. So as I said, this is a, the uphill stretch. Uphill stretch, see? You can definitely feel on your glutes. Right, so we are parked there guys, so that was the opposite bank obviously, it's down, if you come up here, that's the end of the gradient, then it levels flat across the dam wall to the starting point. I say I feel like, uh, I feel like running off a bit of ice, guys but I'm not going to okay. We see how time is at the end now. But you want to give yourself, I say again, sorry for repeating myself, give yourself two hours, okay? Out. So we're coming on the home straight now, guys. So you walk past the Taff Eckham Forest entry, but it's all been felled now, so. So the next point of reference is the Welsh Waterworks. We cut through the back of there now. So when you get to the end of the path here, little bridge there, there's the roof of the Welsh water. You cut through here, look. See? And it should take you down to the dam wall. Out. There you go, look. There's Pond Stickle Reservoir there. So a quick assessment guys, here's a damn wall look. Quick assessment, no aches or pains, um, light sweat, that's just due to me having a, a windproof smock on. All good. I say I can do this in an hour, right? Obviously if I had to stop to take some photos etc. But give yourself two hours. Pack some water. Pack some minerals, such as a packet of ready salted crisps, a banana, and enjoy it. So as you can see now, we're coming down to the dam wall. Okay? Almost there guys, I can see the van from here now. Just behind there. Happy days. Here we go, guys. Back at the starting point. So we walked. Round, across the dam wall, and back. So at this point now, guys, when you've stopped exercising, right, obviously stretch off. Um, what I always do after um, any exercise, guys, I replace, I replace what I've lost. So in the bottle there, I've got a litre of water, um, and I've got some branch chain amino acids and some glutamine. I've also added half a teaspoon of salt. And I should mention it's, um, it's Celtic salt, okay? Now when I get home now, which will take me about 10 minutes, drive in, see? I'll get the, fo the foam roller out and uh, work on my back, my glutes, my hamstrings, my calves and my hip flexors. It takes about 20 minutes. So as you can see, um, I take my pr uh, fitness pretty seriously. And um, I'm 54 years of age, I'm 16 stone and I'm five foot five. So if I can do this, I can't see why anybody else 
can't but again not judging but if you've done try you won't know okay you know set yourself a six month goal three month goal or even a shorter term goal but um you've got to get out there guys and you've got to you've got to do stuff like this if you want to want a more enjoyable camp um yeah it's really important guys not just for your health but as i say to make your camps a lot more easier because um if you want to be yomping out uh further distances it's no good being huffing and puffing and blowing out your arse you know yeah so this i'll put a picture up obviously i think it took when i was 17 today but, you know it did stop but um it's no excuse but um yeah i can do it for an hour but give yourself again i sorry for repeating myself give yourself two hours guys right you know stop take pictures get some fluids down you get some minerals down you do whatever but um, I wanted to add this to the camping playlist you guys because it's something that I never see addressed and I'm curious to know if you do have a fitness regime to coincide with your camping because there's a lot of a lot of hiking involved in camping a lot well that's down to individual you know you can park your car in a lay by and jump over a fence when you're there but I don't like to do that so I hope you've liked this video guys please leave a comment if you like this sort of stuff added to the channel I know it's a little bit outside the niche um, but I think it's very important that I did slip this into the playlist somewhere so put down in the comments if you enjoyed this video and uh, if you took anything from it if you did please uh, give a, give us a punch our like button you know that's what gets the channel noticed with the algorithm see guys so I'm going to go home now and uh, get to work on the foam roller. So from me, thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, taking this, this video in. Because I know it's a, a slightly outside, but I wanted to get it in, as I said, guys. But thank you very much for watching, alright? Especially if you stuck all the way through. See you on the next one, guys. Out.